Welcome to this video. We are being asked to compute a double integral. So we have this double integral here, the integral over some region d x y d a. And this region d that we need to integrate over is given by the conditions that we have here, plus what it says here. So let's first try and get an idea of what this region looks like. So it is in 2D, so let me draw a horizontal and a vertical axis. And then the first condition we have is that x squared plus y squared equals 4 is, is, is one of the boundaries of our region. And this is, of course, a circle with origin, uh, with center in the origin and radius 2. So I can draw a little circle here that intersects at 2, minus 2, 2, minus 2. The next is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Again, this is a circle with center in the origin and radius 5, so a larger circle. So intersecting the axis at 5 and minus 5. Um, y equals 0, so y equals 0, um, that is of course here the horizontal axis, and y equals x, so I still need to draw the line y equals x, so that makes a 45 degree angle with the positive x axis, and then we have that both x and y are non-negative, so if you put that all together, then what we have is this region here. So this is our region D. And since we are working with circles here, so two of the boundaries of D are circles, it is very convenient to use polar coordinates here. So let's try to describe this region in polar coordinates. So what you see is that the radius is in between 2 and 5. So we have 2 less or equal r less or equal 5. And then for the angle theta, the angle with the positive x axis, we have 0 less or equal theta less or equal pi over 4. And this pi over 4 is due to the line y equals x because that makes a 45 degree angle with the positive x-axis, we find that the corresponding angle is in radians is pi over 4. So putting that all together, we now have all the ingredients that we need to compute um, the integral we're being asked here. So let's see, we are being asked to find the integral over d x y dA. And what we get is the integral from 2 to 5, and that's the r component, the integral from 0 to pi over 4. Now, our x in polar coordinates is r times cosine theta. The y gives us a r sine theta. And then the dA, so the area element, is r the r d theta. So don't forget the extra r that you get there. So like this. And this one is due to um, using polar coordinates. So if I now split it into the integral related to r and to theta, you see that I can write this as the integral from 2 to 5 r to the power 3 dr, and the second integral runs from 0 to pi over 4, and we have cosine theta, sine theta, d theta, like this. Now, of course, the first integral is easy to find, 
So I can immediately f give an antiderivative here, one over four r to the power of four, and r is in between five and two. And for the other one, what I'm going to be using is that this here, that is sine two theta. Well, not completely, because the sine of two theta is two times sine theta cosine theta. So I have to put one half here. So I can also easily find an antiderivative here. I just copy the one half. An antiderivative is cosine two theta. But if I differentiate cosine two theta, I get minus the sine. So I have to put an additional minus sign there. And with the chain, I would get an additional two. So I have to put minus one half here. So times minus one half. And then theta is in between pi over four and zero. So what do we find? One over four and then five to the power four. That's 25 times 25, which makes 625 minus 2 to the power of 4, that is 16. And the second integral is going to give me minus 1 over 4, that's the half times minus 1 half. And the cosine of 2 times pi over 4, that's cosine pi over 2, that becomes 0. And then um, times minus 1 for cosine 0. And if you put that all together, what you find is 609 over 16. So that is the answer to this question. If we go back to the first slide, you see that that is the first option that was given here. So that concludes this question. I hope it was clear and I'll see you in the next video.